So, we're getting pulled over right now. Hola. Hey, we're Sam and Kelly. We've been living and traveling in Baja, Mexico for the past two months. Today, we'll be taking you to La Paz, the capital of Baja Sur, that also happens to hold one of our favorite beaches in all of Baja. Let's go. Today we are leaving Cerritos Beach. We've been here for about two weeks, surfing a ton, hanging out in Todos Santos and El Pescadero. But before we leave, we are going to go check out this place, which is called... Petit Leon. And it was recommended by a friend of ours, saying it was the greatest croissant she's ever had. <laughs> It's the best croissant I've had in 28 years on this earth. And that's coming from a daughter of a bagel shop owner in Canada. So, I mean, I believe her. And it's also a massive claim. So we're gonna go in there with yeah. extremely high expectations. She loves her croissants. So we're gonna go let you all know if this is also our favorite croissant being alive on this earth for however many years we've been alive. Who knows at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I really love it. It's a little bit more sweet. It tastes really good because have the almonds and the chocolate inside. It's Yum. really good. And we have other options. This is the almond croissant. This is like a classic croissant with uh, almond cover and filled with uh, almond cream too. Okay, so we got a plain croissant, an almond flour brownie, and a chocolate croissant that also has almond filling on top. Mm. This is like my birthday. I get to try all of the treats. This is the best job ever. What's extra cool about this place is they use honey instead of white sugar and they use ghee instead of butter. So they're using different kind of ingredients that they say is used with love. And that's how you get this perfect croissant taste. And I've never in my life seen Sam order a croissant, no less than three plain croissants. So this is kind of legendary. He's so silly, you know? He, he, he's kind of I ask him. To be serious, and he he, he can't, just he can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's like oh, he kind of he's always being silly. Our friends that you just saw are now going into Petit Leon and having the experience of their life, I imagine. So while we wait for them to go caravanning to the next town, we are gonna kill some time. <laughs> We are now running late, our friends are ready to go, so we have to pack up and head to La Paz. La Paz. Let's go. Who gets to control the aux cord or the Bluetooth when you're on a road trip? Is it the driver or the passenger? If you feel passionate about this, comment below and say which one you think it is. We're back in La Paz. The capital of Baja means that there's huge stores like Walmart, Home Depot, and things like that. So we are at Walmart right now because we need to stock up on all the goodies like oat milk and things like that that you can't get everywhere else in Mexico. I can't wait any longer. Before we even load up the groceries, I need to just have a snack. God, oh my God. Ah, God. Oh no, no, that's how it is. <laughs> that was like 2,700 pesos, like roughly, which is like $150. So Walmart back home is like a cheaper option, obviously for grocery shopping, but here it's much more expensive because they're shipping everything here. So I'm gonna stress eat and then we're going to <laughs> load everything up. I stress eat. This is what it looks like when you buy too much stuff, but I'm happy to have a full kitchen. We're gonna take the kitchen that looks like so chaotic right now from this to this. And now we're going to pack the rest of the things up and head over to Tecolote Beach. 
What was supposed to be a peaceful little drive to Tecolote Beach turned into something a little more dramatic. We're getting pulled over right now. Hola. Bien, y tú? Oiga, te estoy parando porque te paraste en el semáforo allá y te pasaste más allá del cruce peatonal. Ok? Oh, ok. Si te diste cuenta, salió un carro. Oh. Y tuvo que hacer así porque él va a pasar para allá ah. y tú no lo dejas. Ah, oh, lo siento, mi, okay. mi mal, lo okay. siento. De license, tu licencia, please. License? License. What are you name? Sunny. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Sunny. Hola. Sunny. Ahí nos vamos a morder. ¿Con quién vienes? Lo siento, mi español no bueno. Ah, ok. What are you from? Ah, uh, California. Oye, pero este, este, este es tu licencia. Esta era tu licencia. Oh. No. Yes, it's your license. Yes. No, it's it's me license. Sí. 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 Okay. Okay. Te voy a hacer el ticket. Y tu licencia va a caer en garantía. Uh, pagar at station. Yeah, police station. Okay. I'll I'll meet you at station. Sí. Police station. A uh, police station. Sí. Mañana. Mañana. Tomorrow. Okay. Hey, 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 hey,
<laughs> you missed this part. It's gonna cook for like an hour. And she's doing this all herself. We're not contributing at all. Look at that. Beautiful. Good morning. So now we are eating what Talt made. She spent a good hour on this, so I wish I was paying attention because I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to recreate this. <laughs> All gone, boys. Good job. Good job. Howdy. That was really good. Just packed up. We're off to Belandra Beach. What's amazing about Tecolote Beach, which is where we camped last night, it is the beach outside of La Paz, is that it is connected with a three mile hike to Belandra Beach, which is a highly recommended beach. It's absolutely beautiful. It's on the Gulf of California side of Baja. So the waters are turquoise and beautiful and clear. And so we are going to do that hike. We've actually already done this hike once and it was one of our favorite things that we've done since we've been here so we're gonna go do that now and i have a bum ankle but it's healing and i will have too much fomo if we don't go do this so i'm gonna make sure that we do this and i'll just you know take extra rest and stop along the way and ice it so we're good to go we're in line to get either a mango or coconut i mean i was thinking coconut for like the hydration yes, aspect that's what of I was things thinking, but, then the mango. but then the mango for the taste yeah the juice so maybe one in one coconut delivery to tell you ready There's our vans. Look how cute they look together. Put another heart right there. So this hike is technically three miles, but you won't even notice because you have the beautiful Gulf of California to look at the entire time that you're doing this hike. It's kind of amazing. A lot of lava rock, and then you get here to this stunning white sand beach. actually at Belandra Beach, we are at what we call Belandra Junior. And the actual Belandra Beach, you can only go to by car or if you do this walk right here, where you literally walk through Belandra Junior, which I like to call it, and you're walking in water the entire time. And the tide is so low right now that it's literally not even up to my knees. So it's a very easy stroll. You can try to this part of the beach, but because of COVID, they're only allowing about hundred people a day. And it's only open from seven to 11 and then from noon till three. And in the morning, the tide is so high, there's no actual beach. And it's usually pretty packed so that's why we like our little Belandra Junior better but I'm gonna go just say I checked it out. I just got here it's really cool but it is definitely packed there's quite a few people here some boats but it's insanely beautiful like insanely beautiful but not much less beautiful than Belandra Junior and it's basically to ourselves. Tali did a drone shot when she was here a few weeks ago and uh, I'm gonna barter with her to get the footage. <laughs> yeah. So we just got back to Tecolote Beach we are alone we have a beautiful spot Ocean's right over there. We opted not to park right on the water because it is a little bit less windy, but you still have the same view. And the sand is very soft. So we just want to make sure we didn't get stuck and we are not stuck and we're here at the beach and we're gonna just have a nice night. After dinner, Rockies. Okay, so we just uh, came upon some nail covers. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> really water. squeeze, squeeze down more. Oh, he didn't like it. Look no. <laughs> for the real long ones. Okay. There. Hey, yeah. good boy, dog. Oh, fucking fucking. Oh, oh, like, oh, oh, like, oh, like, oh, 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 It's the next morning. We are still at Tecolote Beach, which is one of our favorite beaches in all of Baja. We absolutely love it. Past couple of days and the past couple of weeks especially have been extra sweet and extra special here in Baja. I don't even know why, it's just been so amazing and we know we are in some of the best times of our life right now. And it was also kind of crazy that we got pulled over because 
we were hoping to avoid that on our trip. Yeah, definitely something that we expected not to happen. We were very lucky to have a very, I'd say relatively nice police officer pull us over. He ended up giving a fist bump at the end and we didn't feel unsafe. He wasn't trying to take money from us or whatever. We just played dumb and not played dumb. We were basically <laughs> being dumb. So it worked out in our favor because read before, you should definitely not try to communicate with them. Just kind of <laughs> act like you're a dumb American on a vacation. You don't know what they're saying and they may not want to deal with you and stuff. But our other friends were not so lucky. Literally the same day they got pulled over and they actually had a not so pleasant experience with the police. When we pulled up to the beach and told them about our experience, they told us that they actually had three police officers that had pulled them over for speeding, but their turbo doesn't even work on their they van. They physically can't so go physically above the speed limit. they can't speed, yeah. They had a pretty gnarly situation because they couldn't play dumb because the police officer spoke perfect English and he was not going to let them leave without them paying a little bit up front. That is definitely a situation to look out for, and it seems like La Paz is kind of the headquarters for getting pulled over for yeah. unnecessary reasons. It's because it's probably one of the more vacation the places in Baja. The point also of us showing this is be safe, be smart, and only do what you feel comfortable doing. Yeah, exactly. If you want to try and fight the guy, like, no. What? No, like, okay. <laughs> Just do whatever makes you comfortable. If you want to try and be like, hey, like, we didn't do anything wrong. We're not going to pay. We're absolutely not going to pay. You can keep going back and forth. Or if you want, just give them the money and just move on. Whatever makes you more comfortable, you should go ahead and do. But just know that you have the option to try and be like, no, I'm not going to pay this. I'm going to pay at the station. You can keep going at it. And the two pieces of advice that we have explained is make sure you have your own ID, but a fake version of it. The main thing that the police officers will do is they will take your ID and they will use it as leverage to get you to pay because they won't give you back your ID. Until you pay. So the main tips would be make sure you have alternate IDs of your real ID and so you don't care if they get taken yeah and you always say i will pay at the station because most likely it is not a real ticket and they won't make you pay at the station and they will hopefully let you go with our friends and us both the police officers said the station was closed but it was two and three in the afternoon the station's not closed, not the, police, closed. the police station <laughs> never closes yeah, so it's police hopefully this video also helped you out so you can understand what it's like a little bit to get pulled over by the police but in general we have been having an amazing time in baja it's been super safe. I'm Sam. I'm Kelly. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye. This is a very exciting and special day.